It was a comic show with great comic actors headed by the late Beatrice Arthur, who was just brilliant. I mean, Beatrice was, I mean, Maud was Norman Lewis' wife, Frances, um, you know, who read Psychology Today, as said Norman, who had this really dry, dry wit, um, uh, who wore her long gray hair until she was in her 50s, and uh, beat it to that. But, um, I mean, it, there are many, many shows that have, you know, dramatic frameworks um, that are historically funny. The Sopranos, um, my favorite TV show of all time, um, was at times extremely funny because, you know, they say, you know, two sides of the same coin are comedy and drama. And, you know, we, and, I mean, one of the writers uh, who I got to know, Bob Weisskopf, and, of Schiller and Weisskopf, um, uh, from, again, watching all their credits. These guys went back to Duffy's Tavern radio. <laughs> this thing, radio, we turn it on, and then stuff comes out. But he said, you know, of all the shows he'd written, uh, Maud by far was his favorite because it was playwriting. You could do, you could do five pages without a joke, but the scene would, 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 would play because it, it, the story had been set up and the performers were so skilled at knowing, and also, I mean, I don't like today's show, and I don't watch a lot, so I'm not an expert, but there seems to not be the ability to, to create comic moments. It seems like every line has to be some kind of a spin, something that sounds quasi funny, almost like almost funny, uh, as opposed to building moments. And we did, and we had actors who could pull it off.